Well, hey, everybody. How you doing? I hope fine. This is a crazy story I just saw involving a social media post on Facebook. And this is really important. <clears throat> I had a friend. Uh, we worked together years ago. And she was pregnant, okay? So she she was working up until she couldn't have the you know until she, you know until she's gonna have the baby and uh she posted on facebook now keep in mind this was probably 10 12 years ago <laughs> yeah it's a long time ago um so she posted on facebook to let her family know hey i'm going in labor i'm i'm heading to the hospital well she has her baby. Wonderful, beautiful news. She comes home. Her house got broken into. Her house got broken into while she was gone. While she was having her baby. So, obviously, it's people she knew. I'm assuming. She was upset, I, I bet. But it was a hard lesson to learn. It's like, don't post if you're going on vacation. Don't tell nobody what you're doing. I mean, it's insane. So she goes, she has her baby, and then somebody comes and steals her TV or whatever the heck else she had valuable in her, in her apartment. It's just insane. So this is the news story, and this is out of Horrendo County. Uh, it's in Florida. A lot of stuff happens in Florida. I mean, it's just crazy. But I just thought um, I wanted to touch upon this because it reminded me when I watched this of, of her when this happened over a decade ago. So this is nothing new. And you would think most people, well, these young people. I don't know how old these the, these went these victim this one victim there was two two people shot one was killed and and that was in the home, but I'm gonna let you listen to the the news, and uh, let's check it out. First up, three men are in custody now after a deadly home invasion in Hernando County. Deputies say these men went into a home in Spring Hill on Wednesday and shot two women inside, killing one of them and sending the other to the hospital. Fox 13's Evan Moon explains why detectives believe the women were targeted. Tragic incident. The sheriff's office confirming that this was a targeted attack on these two women in their home, all because of a social media post. These three men now under arrest for murder in the first degree. 20-year-old Dawson Deskin, 19-year-old Landon Runyon, and 22-year-old Hacier Martinez. Oh my God, they're all so young. Y'all know we're all still stupid when we're in our 20s? One of them was 19? I'm assuming they, they knew, they either knew the victims or they were friends with somebody's the victims and somebody liked the, you know, when, when you're on Facebook, you like something and then somebody shares it and then, and then these people are friends with somebody else. You have to be careful what you're posting on any, any social media. On any social media, you, you, I can't emphasize it enough. For targeting two women in their home, allegedly in an attempt to rob them after seeing social media posts showing handfuls of money. Individuals are posting what they think is cool. Here are a couple examples of Facebook posts that were done that may have encouraged these particular suspects to... Uh, go after this particular victim. The women. Good Lord. Did you see all that money? That's just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. That somebody to, to post that. It's completely ridiculous. Yeah, they thought that was cool. I mean, it could have been fake money, but it looked real. Enough for somebody to go over there and shoot them. Now, this is alleged. And were involved in what the Hernando County Sheriff described as a high risk activity, which included prostitution. The Ouch. sheriff now warning, be careful what you post online. Individuals need to know that what they put on social media 
uh, can attract criminal activity, particularly when they're involved in a high-risk lifestyle like this or involved in drugs or involved in gambling. If there's one parent out there or one friend who says, hey, you need to take that stuff down from your you're asking for trouble by having this on your on your social media site. The sheriff said gunshots were actually returned by the victims, hitting Runyon in the face and Dawson in the stomach. Children also in the home when shots were fired. Oh my but God. fortunately, they were not hurt. The incident leaving neighbors on edge. It definitely is scary, you know, because I have a, a kid and I just, you know, it's a scary thing. Although three suspects are now in custody, the sheriff's office says this investigation will continue for weeks to try to gather more evidence and make sure they know everyone that was involved. In Hernando County, Evan Moon, Fox 13 News. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're speculating that, that they went and tried to rob them or kill them because of the Facebook post. That hasn't came out. I mean, they're just, you know, it makes sense. They post this stuff, and then boom, uh, they, they one gets killed, one gets shot after they post that they got all this money. It's just crazy. But I thought I'd, I thought it was important for me to do this to reach out and say, look, be careful what you're posting. Don't post that you got money or you got you're going on vacation or you're leaving to go have a kid. Like I told you at the beginning, because that did happen, and that was a decade ago. But this is, somebody got killed. There was children in the house. I don't know. Those guys, since they got killed, they're probably, they're, hopefully, they'll definitely get life in prison. And I wonder what that kid looks like. He got shot in the face. It's just insane. But anyway, it's it's Halloween month. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, this was a short little video, but an important video for sure. So thank you very much for joining me and peace.